Good morning. I hope you have been having a wonderful day so far. Um, this week we have a few things going on. Number one is it's tax season. So luckily I have an amazing accountant. So she handles all of the big things, but I still have to go through and collect all the documents and get those sent over to her. So that is number one priority. So we can just get that squared away and I don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, next is the Dash Planner community. So I'm working on that this week. And how I start pretty much all of my products or any kind of big projects for work is I just start on paper. I find that it helps me stay focused more and I'm not easily distracted if I'm just jotting my thoughts out on paper. So I literally just started and kind of mapped out my main goals and uh, different sections I want to have within the Dash Planner community. So I started here and then I've found the software or the website I'm going to use to host the community. Now what really stalled me with this project is I didn't know exactly where I wanted the Dash Planner community to be. I knew I didn't want it on social media. I didn't want to have to worry about Facebook groups or anything like that. And I didn't want people to have to download a separate app either. So I found this website called Website Toolbox and I think it's a pretty good solution. So I will show you a little bit of that. And then the last thing is we are starting home projects. So I am setting up the project planning section in my planner, which I will go ahead and show you that right now. So what I did is I just opened a blank note in my notes app that comes with the iPad and I did a brain dump. So I literally went through each room of our house and just wrote down anything that I wanted to do even if it was something that was, you know, kind of ridiculous and maybe it would take a few years, I just wanted to get it out of my head and put it down somewhere so I didn't have to keep feeling like I had to keep everything up in my head. So I really went through and marked out every single thing that I want to do in every room of our house, eventually. So once I had that, I was able to then hop over to my planner and start project planning. Now, with this planner, you have two options. So you can either use the section dividers to uh, start planning your projects. So these are kind of like uh, folders or dividers in a, a binder. So you can use them to categorize certain topics. So you could totally use these for your projects. Mine are a little more general, so I'm gonna keep those like that. But I'm gonna use the project dashboard to keep track of all my home projects this year. So I went through and using that brain dump list I had in my notes, I just wrote out all of the main rooms and I'm gonna treat each room as its own project. So I have those all written out. So then when I go ahead and click on a project, then there's the project overview page where I can then break down each project into further steps. So for this example, this is the hallway slash entryway in our house and I broke it down into kind of phases. So the first one would be, I want to paint and add a trim detailing to the walls. So I have that here. And then I went ahead and broke that down into more manageable tasks that I can check off as I go. And what's cool, cause then this now is like a section that I designated to this project where I can paste in any of the included templates or note paper. So I just went ahead and pasted in a blank page so that when I want to kind of sketch out or anything or any or paste any images from the internet, I can do that right here and it'll be right next to my project page. So you can see I've already planned it out. And then when I go ahead and start the project, hopefully this week, I will say it started. And then once it's done, I can mark it as complete. Now that I have my project overview page filled out, I want to go ahead and create a mood board for this project. So on that blank page that I uh, inserted in, go ahead and put just like a little title up here. And then I mentioned this in my goals video, but how I gather all my inspirational images is through Pinterest. And so I have a board that I created for the trim and wall details that I wanna put in the hallway. So I'm just gonna go through and find my top picture is something that I know I really, really like. For example, I love this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it right over. Just 
that one. And for some reason, if you use the Pinterest app, it doesn't let you drag images over. But if you pull up your Pinterest account in a web browser, it works. Now, as far as colors go, I think we want to keep it pretty neutral because it's a pretty long hallway. I would love to go and do something dark, but I think it might just make it feel kind of like a cave. So I think we'll probably end up doing kind of a more neutral beigey gray color. So after I had my mood board completed, I went and took pictures of the space. So this is our hallway and the entryway off of our front door. And as you can see, I got some paint samples. This is through that site, uh, Sampleize. They're supposed to be 100% accurate. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how good those do, but have those hung up there. And then what I did is I took a picture just with my phone of the, the main wall, and then I pasted it in the planner and then I measured, and this was really handy because then I was able to write out the measurements right on the picture of the wall. So that'll be very helpful when it comes to the actual design. But then I also took that same picture and I started to draw right on top of it with different design ideas. So this is that one in this picture and then the picture frame molding. I did on this page and by doing this process it really helped because I realized I think that might be too busy for the hallway especially because down this way it's it'd be on both sides and that might be a little much so same with this one that felt a little too farmhouse and our, our house is a little more Spanish but once I started to do the picture frame molding I started to like how it looked and I think it really works well for that space. So then I even played around with the idea of drawing little um, picture frames. I love the idea of having family pictures down the hallway. So that design will allow us to do that. So this site is called Website Toolbox and basically it lets you create a forum for your brand, your company. Now, my one hesitation with this is I didn't know if forums were kind of old school, like if that was still kind of relevant today. But what's cool is you, it, you create a place where your community can ask any questions, they can share pictures, and I like that it's its own platform so you're not getting the distraction of social media. So I started building out the Dash Planner community and I've already kind of tweaked the template to kind of match the, the branding of the Dash Planner website already. And I've already gone in and created like the main categories. So my goal with this is to make a place where uh, customers can go and ask any questions they have and either myself or someone else in the community can answer it for them. And then also one of the big things is to have a, a hub where you can share planner inspiration. So like your layouts that you do, and you can upload them here. And then also if you would like inspiration yourself. So if you're stuck on how to use the weekly layout and you don't know what to do, you can come on here and browse through the layouts that other people have created with their Dash Planner. So I already have one in here, it's for uh, layout ideas. So if you click on it, there are topics in here which break down each board by page in the planner. So say if you wanted to look for weekly layouts, you could go here click on the weekly layout and here is where you could see where other people have posted their examples. So I just went in and I kind of went through my planner from last year and this year and picked out some of my favorite layouts and then I just uploaded them here. So, you know, you could just come in and scroll through and just get some ideas for your weekly layout. And I set it up so that you don't have to create an account because I know that can get annoying sometimes when you have accounts for 
you know, 100 different websites. So, yeah. And what's also really cool is if you do decide to make an account, you can set up notifications. So that way, if you know you want to keep getting ideas on the weekly layout, you can get notified. And then that way it sends you an email when new people, when people have posted new posts. So I thought that was pretty handy. So basically the last few days I've just gone through and filled the, the form with different posts. So like I've gone here for a section of writers. I thought this would be cool to have a place where you can list out what you're using your sections for. So you can see what other people are using as well. Monthly calendar. I uploaded a lot of mine from last year. So if you were ever curious of what, you know, my planner looks like, here you go. So there is that. And I'm just getting this started. It will, um, my hopes for it is that it'll be full of content shared from everybody. But then also the kind of help desk portion. So I created a place where you could ask a question. If there was something you were stuck on, you could come here and get some answers either by myself or somebody in the community. So I've kind of loaded it with questions, like my most frequently asked questions, but I can continue to add more as well. And then like a general questions place. So these are questions that maybe I can't answer that well. Like I only focus on iPad, but I do know there's people who use Android devices and Windows. So I thought that would be a good place where if you are an Android user and you're really familiar with using the planner, on an Android tablet, here is where you could kind of chime in and help those people who are, who are curious about it. So yeah, I feel pretty good about it so far. I think it's gonna be a good solution. I think one thing I wanna do is, it just says Dash Community here. I kinda of wanna make a custom like icon or a logo type just for the Dash Planner community. So I will work on that as well. But yeah, that's where we're at. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good so far. Something I'm often asked to do is more plan with me style videos. So I thought this would be a good chance for me to take you along and show you my process for monthly planning. So the first thing I do is I look at the previous month and I go through my different tasks that I wrote out and just see what I was able to get done, what didn't end up happening and kind of just reviewing the previous month. I'll even go over the overview page and I'll just kind of go through each item and see if it ended up happening, if it didn't happen. And then for the life balance section, this is where I can really analyze if those things that I set out to do to kind of help balance the different life areas, if those things actually had an impact or if I didn't do them. This is just kind of a little check-in I like to do. So for the monthly calendar, the first thing I like to do is open up my Apple calendar and here's where I have holidays and birthdays already put in. So I just like to reference the calendar and then transfer any important birthdays or holidays to my actual planner. Then I like to head over to the yearly overview page and see what I have written out. So this is a page that I filled out earlier in the year and I like to transfer anything that I have written over to the month. So I'm just going to paste these into the blank section right here just so I can start to plot these things out on the calendar. 
So looking at these, I had written in my goals that I wanted to go to the Arboretum and go for a hike, which I think I can actually turn into one task. And then I realized that I will move my hair appointment to April. Now, when it comes to decorating my planner, I keep it pretty simple, but the one thing I like to do is pick a color for each month. So January was blue, February was pink. So I just referenced the color palette that comes with the planner. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that green color and then just highlight the birthdays and events that I have written out. Now this is very subtle, but it's a nice way to add a little pop of color to your planner. Now for anything that spans across a couple days, I like to draw a line with the highlighter tool and then just add in a label with some text. So for the month of March, we have spring break. So I'm gonna create this label to mark out those days. This way, when we come back to plan stuff for spring break, I can easily see visually when spring break is. I also realized that Easter was in March this year, so I'm just doing a little bit of rearranging in my yearly overview page. And I realized that I'm gonna to need to check with everyone else's schedule for the hike trip, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my task list. Now that the holidays and big events are scheduled in, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my monthly overview page. So referencing the life balance section from the previous month, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over to this month. And then that way I can kind of edit it down, see if there's anything that I want to change or keep the same for this month. For the learning portion of my month, I want to focus on learning how to compost. And then for the social aspect, I want to spend time with family since they are on break and I get a chance to see them a little more than I do usually. Last month I wanted to focus on meditating, which really didn't happen. So I think I'm going to switch up this portion to reading a book. And I tend to read a lot of self-help books, so I think I wanna try reading a fiction book this month instead. And here I'm just using the highlighter to add in some accents with that green color just to add a little bit of color to the page. Now here I'm referencing my goal dashboard and I try to do this at least once a month just to make sure that I'm doing things towards those goals. So one thing I want to do to our house is organize our storage closets. When we moved they kind of just became a dumping ground for all of our stuff, so I want to take time this month to get those sorted out. And then we have the backyard project. So we are breaking ground on our backyard, and so I just wanna make note that that's something that's gonna be going on in the background this month. Now for work, I'm gonna go ahead and open my dash planner section, and here I have written out a yearly overview specifically for Dash Planner. One thing I designated this month for is doing a new sticker set. So I'm going to make note of that here. And then for this month's video, I think since it's springtime, it'd be good to do a spring clean and organization video. I think this would be a good chance for me to focus on setting some new routines as well. Now for personal, something I've been trying to do is focus on my self-care. That's something I usually let get neglected in the past, so I'm trying to be better at that. So one thing I want to do is go to the chiropractor more often. 
as well as update my wardrobe. So this is something that I had on my monthly overview for last month, and I'm just gonna copy it over for this month as well. I thought this would be a good chance for me to make some stickers for the month. So I'm heading over to the stickers that came with the planner, and I'm just gonna copy this box sticker and paste it into my planner. Once I've resized it to fit into the box, I'm gonna add some text. So one thing I did was sign up for a membership at my chiropractor, and this includes two adjustments and a massage. I did this because I knew if I was paying for something, it would force me to go and therefore I would actually be doing part of my self-care routine. So these stickers are really great for me to be able to spread out these appointments and jot them down on the calendar. Now for the little blank section in the corner of the calendar, I'm gonna use this to focus on sections for work in around the house. So I use this cute little briefcase sticker and go ahead and paste it into that blank section and then create a label for work. And here I can write in the different things that I'm gonna be working on this month. So I have that sticker set, which is the product for the month, and then the new video. And then just repeating those steps for the house section. So something new I wanna try this month is creating a memory page. So I'm gonna head over to the note paper section and copy the blank page. Now I want this to be at the end of my monthly section, so I'm gonna paste it right after the review page. Now using the text tool, I'm gonna to add a label to the page. Now my goal for this page is to, every time I do my weekly check-in at the end of the week, is to go through my camera roll and paste in any pictures of things that I wanna remember from that week. So that way I have a monthly page that I can reflect on so that I can see all the things that happened that month. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is just go through my overview page and see if there's anything that I may have missed and add those to the monthly calendar. So hopefully that helped give you an idea of how I plan for months. I know it can be kind of daunting to look at a blank page and you know, where do I start? But like I said, I just start with the big events and things that I know are happening. And then I look at my goals and projects for the year and I decide you know, when I can plug things in here and there. So I hope you have a wonderful month of March and I will see you next time. Happy planning.